right guys, in this video, you're gonna see me work on a train TM air handler. That's a TEM, it's a TEM3 air handler. Uh, no heat call, everything was working great till she turned the heat on. Uh, it's a common problem with these air handlers. It blew the fuse and the, the this heat kit has contactors on it. So probably know where this is going. Very common problem with train air handlers, the TEMs. So uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Here we go. No, I'm good, thank you. Okay, we have a train system. Nothing's happening when you uh, turn the thermostat on. Do we have a fuse? Oh boy. I bet you these contactor coils have shorted out. Because she said she went to turn the heat on. And that's when it did it. There should be a few. Yep, there's the fuse. And it's blown. The fuse is definitely blown. So we're going to use our Sharp Pro tool here. And you can see right there, we have a dead short in heat. So it's going to be these con one of these contactors is uh, one of these contactors has a dead coil. It's a big problem with these train air handlers. So we're just going to replace both contactors but we will troubleshoot and see which one it is
I pulled the heat kit out. Just makes it a lot easier to change these contactors. Pull it out to about right there. Let's see which one is bad. Ah, uh, it's the top one. Look right there. You can see it. I guarantee you it's the top one. The bottom one might be fine, but we're changing both of them. One, yep, less than one ohm. Look at that, 0.5. That's a dead short. to the other okay let's own this one out just for giggles it's good 14 ohms but we're going to change it anyway not just going to change one All right, so I got two new contactors here. Pull the heat kit out. Like I said a minute ago, just makes it easier. Customers giving approval to change both of them. I use Packard contactors, seem to have pretty good luck with them. 
That's, uh, oh, that came unplugged from somewhere. Oh, I see where it came unplugged from. From that limit switch. somewhere there's one there's the other one these like to break these terminals okay that one tightened up that one tightened up uh, yeah it tightened up This is just a jumper. It broke. That one broke too.
All right, I put new spay, new uh, stay cons on that one. Like I said, they like to break. All right, that contactor's ready to go. Just mount it. contactor this is the bad one breaking it. Okay. Two pinks. Black to black. Very easy. And that's it. it. Now we just got to put it back together. nothing to pull this heat kit out it's very simple it 
just need an extension for your drill. Uh, let's see, I think it's gonna go to the top one. There we go. Just like that. New fuse. I know I got some fuses in this bag. There they are. Right up here. Okay, and the heat should come on. Yep, there it is. This is a 15 kW, so one leg will have five. Oop. There's five. This leg should have 10. Yep. So you got 10 there, and five there. We're working. Nothing to it, easy little job. And I promise you, if you pull that heat kit out, it saves you a lot of time from instead of trying to reach in here and do it like that. Pulling the heat kit out is nothing. Cover back on. tool up. Easy peasy. Very uh, big problem with these TM air handlers from Train. This is a TM3, a TEM3. go Duck board plenum, no return plenum. Basic new construction job.